Madhav, if I read the Bear Act, Article 352, Clause 1, and all the provisions that are mentioned, and we look at the political conditions within which this imposition was done, I think that was moved beyond the Constitution. And in fact, let me remind you, the 44th Constitutional Amendment Act that was introduced to create certain safeguards against reimposition of emergency was only possible because of Congress support. It was Congress who supported in the oh, constitutional now, amendment that this was being made possible. Otherwise, the Janta Party did not have enough numbers so right. as to have this constitutional amendment Mother, passed. Mother, we what I'm saying okay, is, Prashant, the you, government is confused between what is democracy, no, what is constitution. Okay. And in I fact, on 21st July... Okay, one by one, one by one, please. Mother, one by one, please. Okay. Prashant Mother, wants to respond to the specific point you're making. Yes, Prashant. Mother, just give me uninterrupted time. I will uh, bring out the facts so that Congress party, its leaders and locations understand. What did Indira Gandhi do? 39th Amendment, 40th Amendment, 41st Amendment and 42nd Amendment. Now give me 30 seconds uninterrupted time. What is the 39th Amendment all about? It was to protect Indira Gandhi's prime ministership wherein she said, Supreme Court cannot hear election petition against prime minister, speaker, president and vice president. What is the 40th Amendment? Anti-media law is brought in and put in the ninth schedule so that judicial review is barred. And then the 41st Amendment is brought in, introduced in the Rajya Sabha on 9th August 1975, two days before Supreme Court was supposed to hear Indira Gandhi's election petition. And then it amended Article 361 to say, no criminal proceedings whatsoever could lie against in a court against a person who has been a president, prime minister or governor for acts done by them even before they entered office. And the surprising part is, it was passed by Rajya Sabha on the very day of introduction. And the best part, when you look at 39th Amendment, how it happened, August 7th, 1975, introduced in Lok Sabha, same day passed after two hours of debate, August 8th, Friday, introduced in Rajya Sabha, passed by the Rajya Sabha on the same day. Look at the speed at which the constitution mechanism was brought down then. And August 9th, Saturday passed by state legislatures and August 10th, Sunday, the president gave his assent, which means in this timeline from August 7th to August 10th, 1975, that is how our 39th amendment was brought about. If this Congress is justifying saying that this was done for other motives than to protect Indira Gandhi, I think Congress is fooling itself and is trying to fool the people of the country by bringing facts which are not existent because it is very clear, no, I, I like even when they brought like in the 42nd amendment, that Allow they said the constitution, the Mano, amendment of fundamental Mano. rights were beyond judicial review. Okay. So it is very clear that they amended constitution Mano. in such a way that to okay. protect Mano. one family and Mano one Ji. person only, no, nothing else. Mano it has Ji. nothing to do with the internal Mano, security. Mano, Mano, it has Mano, nothing Mano. to do with other things. It was only to protect Indira Gandhi okay. that he did this. Okay, Lokesh. Why did the Supreme Court exonerate Indira Gandhi in the subsequent appeal that was made to the Supreme Court, sir? Please enlighten me. And why did N.A. Palkhiwala, in fact, Indira Gandhi, uh, the moment this verdict was delivered by Justice Sina, she was ready to set aside. Why did N.A. Palkhiwala said that the entire case is quite weak? And once it is why? appealed to the Supreme uh, Court, are you saying it, there would be Indira a stay Gandhi and Supreme the Court had given a conditional the cabinet stay approval on 24th of June. Right? Why was it contrary to the conditional stay that was given by the Supreme Court that in Ram Leela Maidan, there was a large conference that was carried out and Jay Prakash Narayan appealed to the army and police not to take orders from the Prime Minister? Look, no, look this is Indra. something which, kept, also, which had the constitution Indra, in nature. Explain, because the constitution did Indra Gandhi take cabinet the approval state. before sir, that? Sir, please, no. I did not interject. Indra Gandhi I did not interject. Went. One by one, one by one, one by one. Okay. Indira Gandhi went alone to the president, yeah. Fakhruddin yeah. Ali Ahmed, yeah. and took his signature. Sir, Indra sir, Gandhi went alone. Please, the morning, sir, it, that is 26 morning, is when the cabinet meeting was called. Okay, gentlemen.